From 1966 to 1973, Mission Impossible was one of the biggest hits on television. Yet when the series was revived last fall, few expected it to succeed the way it was. Greg and Phil Morris helped form the link between these two series. In the original, Greg Morris actually played high-tech expert Barney Collier. Now in the new version, Greg's son in real life, Phil, plays Barney's son, Grant. Father and son got together for one of last season's special episodes. Barney, you know what we need? We need you to confront Lydia. You give me a couple of days to get my strength back. I'll confront her. The problem is we don't have a couple of days. Grant, can you fill your father's shoes? And Greg and Phil Morris join us live from Los Angeles this morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Kathleen. It's so amazing what has happened. Now, how did it all come about? Did, who was approached first? Well, it, the show came back out of uh, um, the writer's strike, actually. And uh, I came in to audition for the part of, of Barney Collier because they were not able to change any of the characters' names. So I auditioned just like every other actor in Hollywood, and uh, they were no sooner set on myself than they were on any other actor. So I came in and auditioned and read and went to network just, just like everybody else. I think one of the things is that, uh, that I am proudest of as the father. Uh, my wife and I were the only two members of the family who did not have the slightest idea that Phil was even in contention to, to be in the new Mission Impossible. And when I got the call, I happened to be at home. And the phone rang, and I answered the phone. And um, he said, Dad. I said, yeah. He said, I'm playing you. I said, what? He said, I'm playing you. I said, all right. And typical father <laughs> reaction, my first reaction was, how's the contract? <laughs> and he, he, he was happy about that. And I was very cool about the whole thing. As long as I had him on the phone, he said, I'll have to call you back and all of that. So I hung up the phone and I walked out and there had to be, and I live in Las Vegas, there had to be an earthquake here in California because I let out the biggest yell <laughs> and just looked up at the ceiling because the man upstairs is a favorite friend of mine anyway. And I just looked up and I said, hey, thank you, man. <laughs> well, Phil, how true are you to the original uh, scripts and ideas of Mission Impossible? Um, very true. Uh, you know, the concept of Mission Impossible is, is uh, pretty tried and true. And the things that I try and do that are similar to what Dad did was breathe life into those gadgets. You know, my job is a technical wizard. And he had such a wonderful aptitude for making a screwdriver a part of himself, you know, to make that inorganic organic. And so I try and stay within that guideline as that character. So, Greg, are you going to be showing up again next season? Well, we are in the process now of discussing that fact. Yes, I did one, as you, sh you, sh you showed the cut earlier. And it was a great emotional experience for both of us, I would have to say. And to be reunited with, with Graves and to have an opportunity to work with my son, uh, I, find, I found tremendously exhilarating and I'm looking forward to doing it again next season. Well you played that you played that clip and and uh, immediately this warmth this glow came over me because I remember that moment yeah. so well uh, it was in fact the first time that my father and I have have played father and son uh, on screen like that and our note our biggest note to each other was don't act you know just just be there and, well, and let how you feel come through and and I felt that again as you were playing that. Phil is that the first time you've ever worked together? Not the first time we've ever worked together. We, uh, we played... Uh, <laughs> oh, I found something. On, on another show. It was actually a, a daytime courtroom drama, and I played the defense attorney for my father. My father was the client, and my sister played the prosecuting attorney. Yeah. And we lost. And we lost. <laughs> well, you're not losing this time. Greg and Phil Morris, thank you so much for joining us, and best of luck thank next you. year, Phil, on Mission Impossible. 22 minutes after the hour, still ahead, at home with Nancy Lopez and Ray Knight, a couple of real winners.